Oh, guys, come on. Uh, Matt Gates, he's in some serious trouble, right? And he's known it for a very long time because he preemptively sought a pardon from Trump because he knew that his time was up. CNN tells me so, and I just blanketly believe them in every single situation, right? Let me tell you about this. Everybody knew it, right? Matt Gates sought a preemptive pardon for himself near the end of President Donald Trump's term and made his request known to someone outside the White House Counsel's office. Oh, Oh man, oh man, according to two people familiar with the matter, but Gates' request was never seriously considered by the White House because they decided preemptive pardons were off the table. Huh, huh, way to bury the lead. In the final days of Trump's term, CNN reported that Pat Cipollone and other lawyers for the president told him he should not pardon himself, his family, or any Republican lawmakers in a protective manner unless he was prepared to list specific crimes. Huh. Gates pushed for a pardon reported by the New York Times, a fellow garbage outlet. Came during the closing months of the Trump era Justice Department when federal investigators were beginning an investigation into whether Florida congressmen had a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old girl. Gates denied all allegations and has oh yeah, and has tried to portray the sex trafficking investigation as connected to the alleged extortion plot against him, which there are text messages out there right now kind of going to show you that. Yeah, there was an extortion plot out there. Times reported Tuesday that it was unclear what Gates knew of the inquiry inquiry at the time of his request and didn't tell the White House aides when he sought the pardon that was oh that he was under investigation. Yeah. Those comments have been taken on the record for some time and President Trump even retweeted the congressman who tweeted them out himself. That was where the request came from. It was a fucking joke tweet that he should pardon everybody. And that's what CNN ran with. Oh, Gates is clearly, clearly guilty. Oh, man, he was trafficking kids one after another. Like he's down there at the fucking southern border. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's definitely guilty of this stuff. He asked for a pardon on Twitter where it's out in the open in the midst of a joke. The only joke is CNN. Anyways. Something official, something that's actually on the books. House committee announces probe into Matt Gates <laughs> over sexual misconduct claims. House es- the House Ethics Committee announced Friday that the beginning its own probe into Matt Gates. Is that going to take place before or after the one into Eric Swalwell, where we actually know that he was fucking a Chinese spy? But anyways, no, no, we have to go after these 100% credible, totally official claims. Anyways. Gates has denied allegations. Yes, obviously. The committee is aware of the public allegations that a representative, Matt Gates, may have engaged in sexual misconduct and or illicit drug use. Where the fuck did that come from? Shared inappropriate images or videos on the House floor. How would you ever be able to prove that? Misused state identification records, converted campaign funds to personal use. Sounds like a Democrat to me. And or accepted a bribe, improper gratuity, or impermissible gift in violation of the House rules, laws, or other standards of conduct. Ooh, very scary. Too bad they're just going to come up fucking empty-handed. But that's just, of course, my opinion. Anyways, what else did they have on them? The committee notes that the mere fact that these investigations, these allegations, and publicly disclosing its review does not itself indicate that any violation has occurred <laughs> so if you don't hear anything about this um we'll know that nothing's occurred or reflect any judgment on behalf of the committee the committee's investigation comes in the wake of the new york times article of course the subsequent new york times report alleged gates and his friend a former florida county tax collector joel greenberg who is actually the center of this paid women who were recruited for sex online and may have involved illegal drugs as well. A host of other allegations have surfaced since then, including a CNN report stating Gates shared nude pictures with his colleagues in the house floor. I still find that fucking hilarious. Gates' office did not immediately respond to requests for comment about these allegations, because how the fuck fuck do you respond to something that just seems so totally ridiculous? As one of those things, right? Okay, this is a coordinated attack. He is one of the big opponents of the deep state, right? I hate to use those kind of catchy terms, those conspiracy theory-esque terms, but the corruption with the FBI, CIA, DOJ, DOD, that's much larger, much more cumbersome to say, so just to say the deep state, and something we can kind of see, thanks to that four years of Trump really exposing all that kind of corruption that's out there. Gates wants to continue that call. He just 
the reason why he's had such a scatterbrained attempt at this, and now he's retained counsel, he's got all of his ducks in a row, it's because he's pissed off both sides. He didn't know how to approach this to beginning with, or to begin with, because yeah, he comes from a rich background, a very well connected family, right? This is the first time that he's been hit with anything on this scale, and he didn't know how to handle it. He thought he could just schmooze and use his charisma to get out of it, but uh, these guys are playing for keeps. And like they pointed out here, he's going after Representative Liz Cheney, a big entrenched rhino, so he's not going to get any support from the Republicans, not from the establishment side. He might get, you know, some lip service paid from him, paid to him, no pun intended, by the Jim Jordans, Mo Brooks, the more freedom-oriented wing, but at the same time, you're going to have your Mitch McConnell, Mitt Romney, Murkowski, Cheney side of it that are just going to be steadfast against Gates because, oh, he's a dissident, he's one of these fire breathers that disturb the status quo, and you're not going to find any friends whatsoever on the left, so you're kind of a man without an island, especially if you're going to be going after the establishment deep state. Should have had your ducks in a row beforehand, but uh, we're at the situation and this it just reeks of a smear piece, right? Is it all coming from the left? Probably not. They're definitely getting their help from whatever establishment hacks remain, and that's just what this screams of, and especially this committee probe. What's it going to find? Probably nothing. But if it finds anything, and he's actually just a large-headed, creepy sex trafficker, eh, sucks to suck, I guess, but I don't anticipate it. No history of this in the past, really. Oh, he takes pictures of the people at uh, rallies, and he posts them on his Twitter, okay? What's the point? He's in a public place with people. All the evidence is threadbare, and to call it evidence is a little bit of a denigration to actual connecting factors. But if we hear some more information on this, I'll be sure to update everybody. I just, yeah, I fucking think that this is a big old distraction, just a way to poison the wells so they can make up all these allegations. And once again, it's another one of those situations where, hey, uh, we don't like him. What's something we can pin on him? Uh, what's something the Democrats know a whole hell of a lot about? Underage sex trafficking? You got it. We'll pin it on him. Fuck it. He's kind of a playboy. Uh, he uses his charisma to get out of different situations before in the past. So, yeah, fuck it. Uh, the 17-year-old girl. Sounds good to me. And we had a couple of big deaths happen yesterday. Couldn't properly fit them into a story, but we got uh, eh, not really a good one, but we got something going on with the final story of the day here. So, with that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.